Hey everyone, Livingston here, and this week my mom, sister, and I took a trip to Expedition Bigfoot in Blue Ridge, Georgia. As soon as we walked through the doors, we were smacked in the face with Bigfoot merch movies and works of art depicting the elusive creature that roams the very mountains this journey takes place. After purchasing a ticket, we watched a video before the exhibition began by reliving the walk from the parking lot and through the front doors once again, but this time with a familiar tune playing in the background. Jurassic Park. I was thrilled. When the video ended, we jumped into the tour and viewed our very first collection of evidence, a casting of Skunk Ape's foot found in Florida, an account of seeing Bigfoot heard by Teddy Roosevelt from a man named Bauman, which Teddy wrote about in his book The Wilderness Hunter, several blurred photos of men looking for Bigfoot, and this realistic drawing of the creature. I had to know more, but then I got stuck watching this weird 70s film playing. Odd. Once I snapped back to it, we listened to the Sierra sounds, which were recorded in the 70s. I think my sister believes. My mom is on the fence. I still needed to know more answers. So you mean to tell me Bigfoot's on Mount Everest? No, the Yeti is. Oh. Maybe my sister was still figuring out what Bigfoot was. We looked at more castings. So, so many castings. A Yeti scalp from Nepal in a cooler case set at 19 degrees possible Sasquatch hair from the Cajetas, found after a 2015 sighting, and a skull that seemed to resemble that of a gorilla's. More castings, which just never seems to end with all the castings, and this big guy before we listened to more Bigfoot calls. I was still skeptic. Sadly, the tour ended, and we left never knowing for sure the legends were true. But if you're in the Blue Ridge, Georgia area and want to kill a couple hours, pull on over and treat yourself to some Bigfoot fun.